Hi everyone, it's Karis. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Welcome to another day in the life video. I am so excited. I have so many things that I need to get done today. I have some new patterns that I need to work on to make for a craft fair that's coming up. And then I also have some orders I need to take out. I have to refill some product in a local shop. It is 1035. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is work on this order that I received for this butterfly top. I'm going to go ahead and package that and then I'm going to go ahead and refill the stock in the shop on my way to sending the order out. So let's get right to it. I do definitely have to get tags on all of these. I need to place the price tags on each of these individually because that's how her shop works. So that took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. <laughs> it's now 11.45, like an hour later, but that's okay. So now it is off to the post office and to the shop to get this stuff done. back. It is 12.30 now. We just ran all of those errands. I did get a check from the shop as well. Every month they give me a check for the things that sell. I did get a check for $32.20. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's better than nothing and I get to sell some of my stuff. So. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is I actually had somebody reach out to me on Instagram. Her name is Victoria and her shop name is Mon Petit Chou. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> and she reached out to me because she saw one of my videos where I was doing a free axolotl pattern that I had found on Instagram and it was not going well. So she saw that video and she was like, hey, I have a axolotl pattern that I sell in my shop, my Etsy shop, and I would love to send it to you so you could try it out and see if this pattern is better for you. So she did send that pattern to me so now I'm going to, to attempt the pattern. I gave it a look over. It looks really good. There's a lot of steps and pictures and everything else so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see how this axolotl turns out and I will link her pattern and everything in the description below so you can get it for yourselves if you want to try it. So let's get right into it. <laughs> I got to the part where I need to add my safety eyes. Can you not? Yeah. No. And I don't know where my eyes are at that I need for this. I'm gonna use probably the 10 millimeter eyes, but they're somewhere hidden in my big pile of mess over here. Look at this wonderful little disaster. So I need to go through all of this so that I can figure out what I did with my safety eyes. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. I found my eyes. So I'm gonna use these 10 millimeter safety eyes. I got these off Amazon. I have a link in the description box if you want to check that out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this axolotl. <laughs>
looking much better than the last one looked. Now we just gotta go ahead and add his little details. All right, we finished our little axolotl pattern from Victoria. Did want to say thank you again for sending me this pattern. And I did really like this much better than I liked the last one. I think axolotls in general are just like a more difficult creature to make. This pattern was pretty helpful. I liked that she had little YouTube links and tons of pictures to help me with these. I'm very grateful that she sent that to me. I'm so glad I got to try it out. He is really cute. Thank you again for sending that to me. I will probably be making more of these guys because I know that people love them. Now that he is done, it is 2.30. I definitely need to eat something. I'm so hungry. <laughs> We are back from break. It is now 3.56. So I think I'm going to make just a few more things for today and then I'm gonna stop around six o'clock and give myself some time to rest. <laughs> the next thing that I wanna do is make some more mushroom boys, but I wanna make them in different colors. So I got these colors from my Timu yarn haul, which if you have not seen that yet, you can find that up here and also in the description box below. So I wanted to make a few more mushrooms in different colors other than just red so that it looked more colorful and pretty when I put them on my ferris wheel. And I will also show you guys what that ferris wheel looks like. I will put a video up so you can see. It's so super, super cute. I love it so much. If you want to buy your own little ferris wheel, I have the link to where I purchased it in the description box below as well. So let's get started. So here we have our three little mushroom boys with different colors. Look how cute they are. So they still need the little white spots on the top of their heads, but I'm probably gonna wait to do that for another day. It is now 5.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I have some other stuff that we need to get done today. We're gonna go buy some fireworks for the 4th of July. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more because I do come out with a new video every Tuesday. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.